Seven days ago, my channel was temporarily banned for breaking the community guidelines. My dreams were shattered. I began to reflect on just how much time I fucking wasted on this. They deleted it. They deleted my YouTube channel for seven days. My entire career is in the hands of a corporation. I feel desperate. I feel hopeless. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna do what I know. I didn't go to school. I have no job. I have no skills. I'm ugly. I spent an entire year looking like an asshole. I had to look deep inside myself to find the courage to fight on. Somehow, this world will know my name. In hard times, you find moments of clarity. You begin to see what really matters. I am still no Garrick. YouTube doesn't make me who I am, I do. With the click of a button, there are millions of websites I can provide my talents to. I must begin a media storm. I waited too long for you to throw me a bone. YouTube, I'm going to your competitor, Twitch. You have no idea the monster you have created! Alright, you guys! Today, you are watching Cooking with No Gary! Woo! Yeah! Thank you for tuning in to the No Eric live stream here on Twitch. This is my art. There is the Stone Arch Bridge. We are live here in Minneapolis at the Stone Arch Bridge. After my YouTube channel was banned for seven days by YouTube. Hey, slow down, dude. Jesus. 70 miles an hour route in my fucking Uber right now. 80 miles an hour in my Uber now. Are you gonna pretend like you can't hear me? I don't have time for you to like get pulled over right now. I'm busy working right now. So stop driving fast, seriously. I don't like it, it freaks me out. So start acting like you hear me, you said huh, like you can't hear me. So at least go the speed limit. Go the speed limit. Go the speed limit, I said. Do you wanna come in? Can I go? Yeah. Why? I got more Ubers to do. Okay. I, I just barfed. I'm sorry. I had to throw up. I've, so, I got 40 Twitch followers. So the ban only lasts seven days. So that means that during that time, I can make my great return video. This is a perfect time to go to my catalog of video ideas. And the, there will be at least one good idea in here. Okay, these ideas did not age well. My video needs to have meaning. My videos need to have purpose and consequences, and a real life impact. No more of this shit. I decided to be most favorable for the algorithm. I need to make a Minecraft Let's Play. All I need is someone to play with. I recently got in communications with the Minty Unicorn, a popular YouTuber. First rule of Minecraft, you guys. As soon okay. as you spawn, yes, begin mining. Wait, 
She's gonna fuck the audio up. Seriously. Stop! Shut up! Quit screaming. Hold you before we play to turn your brightness up! Stop! <laughs> Minty, I'm what? Spider, Come on, on, Minty! I don't know, I thought you were a spider. Seriously! I'm sorry, Eric, I thought you were a spider. You always betray me! <laughs> We need to do good in this life. You have one shot. Hey, Nick! Good to see you, I haven't seen you in so long. What's this? I decided you asked me to hang out with you months ago and you sent me your address and I ghosted you and I was caught up in stuff and I thought I'm gonna bring you some food and we're gonna sit down and eat it and hang out. Okay. And chill out. I don't know. Nick, does a girl live here? Yeah. Just check this shit out. This is on YouTube. So, uh, you know, think about for a second how my video was just deleted without a trace, without a warning. For uh, hate speech, let's say hate speech. Didn't say anything really hateful. And I'm sitting there wondering how PC do I have to get on my YouTube channel? How PC do I have to, how far, how far do I have to go to keep my channel from being deleted? Because obviously YouTube has very high standards. YouTube has very high standards. Why can they do it? We have a great time. Does it make sense to you? No. Nick, let's check out something else that's on YouTube that, uh, allowed, huh? Let's see. Let's see this great, wholesome, family-friendly content. What's gonna happen? What is this epic show that's right here on YouTube.com? Meanwhile, I'm being deleted at a rapid rate. I've been sitting around doing nothing for five days. Thanks for letting me vent, Nick. Seriously. Yeah, no problem. I don't know. I don't know a lot of people that believe in me. You know. Not for sure. See you. See you. Nick. Uh huh. I actually forgot. Can I borrow some money from you? Yeah. Hey, I'll walk into your car. Cool. Show me the way. This is the music. I need to raise the stakes of my channel if I want to succeed. I must prove to the world that I have guts, that I deserve to be known. I searched online and found an enormous abandoned underground warehouse flooded to the ceiling with frozen ice. The only entrance is a hole from fallen brick. I plan on going inside. A challenge awaits! Behind me is an icy fortress. Inside rests an 8.4 ounce Red Bull. As well as some other perils. I have one half hour to find this Red Bull in the caves. If I complete the challenge, I will have a Red Bull and victory. And I'll slide my way in. Hello? Okay, you guys, we have an icy floor below and a vast cave network beyond. So, I shall inch my way further it's pretty creepy in here. If anyone's in here, I mean no harm. I am merely searching for a Red Bull. 
Okay, there's a second entrance here. My knees are getting kind of cold. But there is no dead body in here so far. We have uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes on the countdown clock. Hey, you guys. Uh, the ice is cracking. We have 10 minutes left on the clock. Oh, I found it. I found it. Yes. I won. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I don't ever really sit down in front of the camera and talk, but the one thing I learned from this is I need a plan B. So go subscribe to the Noak Eric 2 channel. I'll put the button right there. I'm also on this shit. Patreon. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I really wouldn't do any of this if it weren't for you.